Well, I had an interesting experience yesterday. I was moving my fixture off my workbench and I dropped it and it broke the box off the table. And where it broke is right at the edge of the plywood. Part of the problem is I made this plywood edge very weak by cutting it to a 45 degree angle and the tiny little screws from the hinges were very close to that edge. So I have a solution in mind. Instead of putting all of the angle on this piece, I'll put half the angle on this side and half the angle on this side. That makes this corner much stronger. And instead of using a small hinge with two number four screws, I'll use a wider hinge that can take three number six screws. So all of those together will substantially increase the strength of the hinge joint. I have the larger hinges installed now, and I know that's gonna be a lot stronger. Everything seems to be working perfectly. I've been thinking a lot about how to incorporate some dust collection on this device, and I've come up with an idea that I think is going to work. I'm going to make sort of a plenum chamber in this area. I've got two walls that will go into place, and then there's a cap that covers that up. Then there's a piece of wood that goes in front of that. So there's a sealed chamber here, and what I need to do is to seal the area around the sanding disc so I've mocked up a sheet metal construction and I'll show you where this goes. I'm just temporarily fastening it into place with a single screw. So the sheet metal scoop is designed to be a nice tight fit inside that opening to the plenum. So this is the position of the box when the disc is up straight and when I tilt this up to 45 degrees it maintains that nice tight fit against the opening in the plenum. I'll show you how easy it is to make that scoop I found a piece of round stock. This happens to be three inches in diameter and it seems to be just the right size for what I need. And I've cut a blank of metal to the right width but longer than what I need. We need the extra length for leverage. And I'll just squeeze these together. And then to make the bend all I need to do is to push this down around the round piece and that puts the bend in it. So now I'll bend the mounting flange then we can trim both ends to length. So I've marked both trim lines and the bend line on the blank. And I'm going to cut off the majority of the waste before I bend it. That'll just be getting in the way otherwise. So I'll make the roughing cut with the left and right snips. And now I can make the finish cut. And I have two cold roll seal bars clamped on my bench with a gap between them just slightly thicker than the metal. So I'm going to slip the metal into place and move it right up to that bend line. Then I'll clamp it into place and I'll use a caulking tool to make the bend. And that's all it takes. So I'll trim this now on the trim line. I'll make a roughing cut first and then make the finish cut right on that line. So that's all it takes to make the scoop. That wasn't so hard, was it? Looking at some footage I shot while the sander was in use, I saw a lot of dust was coming out this end of the box. So I put a partition in here to seal off the area behind the disc from the box itself. So with the sander in use, I don't think the dust from the disc can get into the box. And better than that, this area behind the disc is open to the plenum, so the vacuum should be able to draw that dust in as well. I cut a hole in the side of the base so I can feed in the vacuum hose and it can connect to the hole in the plenum. And again, I have a nice snug fit between the scoop I made and the opening in the base. So I've got everything buttoned up. Let's do a comparison. I'll make a pass halfway around this disc with no vacuum. And now we'll switch the vacuum on. So this is really working super well. I think just the shrouding around the sanding disc helps a lot too, but having the vacuum extract that dust makes all the difference in the world. 
So I'm very glad I took the time to make this modification to my fixture. If you enjoy my videos, please like, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified when I post a new project. If you like, you can support these videos through Patreon. Just click the link at the end of the video. I'll see you next time.